The SES EMI ESD event meter counts, measures, and records ESD events. In this segment, we will review the basic functions of the EMI meter. Power on the meter by pressing any spot on the display for approximately 3 seconds. Press the menu F button to open the hardware setup menu. Press the up or down arrows to scroll through the settings and the left or right arrows to set the values. Use the arrows to adjust the display brightness, auto off time, and antenna type. Press the enter button to save the settings and return to the home screen. When the lightning bolt icon is displayed, the noise filter is enabled. In this mode, the EMI meter will detect ESD events that are mostly CDM in nature. Press the lightning bolt icon to toggle to a triangle icon. When the triangle icon is displayed, the noise filter is disabled. In this mode, the EMI meter will detect most signals including ESD and some EMI signals. Press the ESD mode button to open the ESD mode menu. Press the left or right arrows to select calculation modes for charge device model, CDM, machine model, MM, human body model, HBM, or raw input. Press the up or down arrows to set the distance. This value should correspond to the distance between the EMI meter's antenna and the object to be measured. Press the enter button to save the settings and return to the home screen. The threshold arc displays the detection level of ESD events. Green indicates that the ESD event is below the set threshold. Events below the threshold are not recorded. Red indicates that the ESD event is above the set threshold. Events above the threshold are recorded. Press the threshold arc to open the ESD event threshold menu. Press the left or right arrows to set the desired ESD event voltage threshold. Press the enter button to save the setting and return to the home screen. Press the hold button when measuring ESD events to hold the last captured event and stop further recording. Hold will appear above the voltage value when in this mode. Press the hold button a second time to set the meter to max hold mode. In this mode, the EMI meter will continue to record ESD events while displaying the largest measured value. Max will appear above the voltage value when in this mode. Press the hold button a third time to return to the default mode. The number of recorded events are shown on the counter. Press the power C button to reset the counter. Pressing the power C button only resets the counter. It does not clear the recorded data. Press the SD card icon to the right of the counter to open the SD card history menu. Press the up or down arrows to scroll through the blocks of data stored in the micro SD card. Press the left or right arrows to cycle through the measured ESD events for that block of data. Press the enter button to return to the home screen. Power off the EMI meter by pressing the power C button for approximately 4 seconds. The SES EMI ESD event meter is the only portable diagnostic tool on the market that counts, measures, and records ESD events. 